So every week you guys send an email with your talking points and you both pointed out how difficult it can be to b bet on these pro basketball playoffs. What makes it so difficult? Well, when you talk about the difference between the playoffs and the regular season, I'm going to start with the zigzag theory because the zigzag theory to me is the key to understanding why the numbers move between one game and the next in a series. The theory is real simple. The betting markets like the team that lost the last playoff game to come back and win the next one. They think they're going to be hungrier than their opponent. Hmm. Their opponent's fat and happy and they're desperate. So you see the betting markets move zigzag. The team that just won will have a lower point spread the next time around. The team that just lost will be getting more market respect than the last time. And that makes the playoffs unique in that regard. But you ask me who's going to win series? Who stays healthy? Mm. Health matters more than any other factor at this time of the year. The eventual champion is going to be the team that emerges unscathed when it comes to injuries. The reason it's so tough, Dave, it, it, we're talking about theories and different things we'll do this time of year, is because there's so much data on these teams that lines are very, very tight. I mean, mm. you'll see, I think it's the most difficult of all the four major sports to make money and because they have a lot of data, there's a lot of parity in the league, and, it, and, and by the way, effort. It's hard to factor effort during the long in a, uh, season. You have to run through these periods where you'll get guys just take the night off or they won't play as much. And those are really hard things to predict. The good thing about the playoffs, and Teddy's getting to that, is that we're talking zigzag theory and stuff. You're going to have effort's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Everybody's trying to win. So it becomes yeah. a little bit easier from that perspective. And another one of your talking points, Teddy, was when a team is done, they're done. When they're cooked, they're cooked. Sure. And you see that happen in the postseason, even sometimes when a team has a lead. You'll see a team with a 2-1 series lead, but they've used everything that they can get to get that 2-1 lead. The better team tends to come back and win those series. So when I see signs that a team is done, they're a one-way team for me the rest of the postseason. When they're done, they're done, I'm betting against. And is Minnesota one of those teams that's done? Probably. Yeah. It's some red flags yeah. going up, but yeah, yeah, it's like pro football. Start with some favorites of better teams and then maybe look dogs a little deeper. Mm -hmm. And that was one of your talking points too. Sure, so. absolutely. When you talk about the postseason in general, there are not many first round series upsets. When you get to the second and third round of the postseason, you start to see some of the upsets, some more chances for upsets, but this tends to be a chalky type of playoffs. The better teams usually win the seven game series.